You want to say before I get into this? Yeah, man. A lot's been going on behind the scenes. And yeah. I feel like a lot of us here are uh, definitely putting in a lot of work. And, uh, you know, things have happened. I'll just say that. Uh, we were in Vegas recently for Power Slap and for other podcasts. And a lot transpired there. And as well as Miami, too. You did the IRO stream. They pretty pretty good numbers. And, uh, you know, we're making some changes now. So I'll just say that. Yeah. So, um, so guys, basically, man, we're going to be um, switching some things up. Okay, as you guys have come to learn and love, we've done the podcast a certain way for many years, right? Where we would do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, daytime show, followed by after hours, right? With, you know, with girls or whatever it may be. And, uh, well, you have something? Let me just say this. Um, I've known Myron for three years, and uh, he's a good friend of mine. But sometimes we argue about nothing. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, you interrupted me to say that? Sorry about that. <laughs> I just had to, bro. I just had to. Yo, because I'll be talking, right? And I'll see him make a gesture like this, which means he wants to say something. So I'm like rushing what I'm saying so that he can say what he wants to say. So you interrupted me to say that? So come relief, man. That's it. Sorry, go ahead. Bro. Okay. It's too serious, man. It's way too serious. Sorry, go ahead. Ah, uh, go ahead. Man. Okay. So, um, so guys, like you said, like I said, we've been doing this type of content for a while, right? We do Money Mondays, then we do the dating show on Wednesdays. We've been uh, introducing a fresh match for you guys recently. We've done call-in shows, guest shows, etc. So, um, but obviously things have, um, you know, changed, right? Like, uh, as you guys know, you know, not to rewind all the way here, but as you guys know, about a year ago, we got um, demonetized on YouTube, right? And we got demonetized. And we've tried to reapply, and then we get it doesn't work, and then we try to figure out why, and they don't tell us why, and we don't really know exactly the specifics as to why, right? And um, it, you know, anyone that you know makes content on YouTube understands this that like it's very, the terms of service are very ambiguous. They're not the easiest to um, understand and interpret. It is what it is, right? Uh, YouTube's a business, and they're you know for profit, so they have to get advertisers to, you know. Um, they have to get advertisers, right? And we make money. content, and we make content that might not necessarily always be advertiser friendly. I'm not even mad at YouTube; it is what it is. Um, and we got demonetized, right? Obviously, that affected things. Um, thankfully, you know, we were on Rumble. We had something locked in with them, and uh, that helped us significantly, right? Um, but as you guys know, um, things change, right? Like uh, we've been making the content for you guys for a while, and it's always important to switch things up, right? And, uh, you know, just sitting here and doing the same thing over and over again, it becomes monotonous, it becomes stale, it becomes boring. So we have some plans on how we're going to take the show and make it better, improve it. We're going to still give you guys the stuff that you guys have come to learn and love, but we're going to add and uh, make it more, add a bit more variety, right? They say variety is the spice of life. We're being more diverse. Yeah, being more diverse and covering the things. Because as you guys know... Um, we're probably one of the most diverse content creators on YouTube. We give you guys gaming streams. I've been catching, I've, I've caught pedos before. I do Fed Reacts, a true crime channel. We can talk about geopolitics. We could talk about girls. We could talk about dating and relationships. We could talk about Credit, making money. We could estate. talk about finances. We could talk about um, success. Uh, all different types of things, right? I, I would genuinely say that we're one of the most diverse podcasts on YouTube. We cover a multitude of different topics, but I'm looking at it like we need to tap in that diversity a bit more, you know? Um, I don't want to be known as the guys that like, oh, you guys just have OnlyFans girls and debate them all the time. That's cool and interesting and stuff, right? Cool. That's a component as to what we but do. But we did it for three years. But we don't do it all the time. We definitely like innovated, right? That whole thing. Now you see a bunch of other podcasts doing what we did, right? And they're, you know. And we wish them the best. Yeah, yeah. But we did it. Right? Yeah, we, we did it already. And we're for the so originators long. in the shit. We're the best at it, too. No one even comes close. And you guys fucking know it, right? Um, but at some point. It's time to, to, to switch some things up. And I think you guys have seen our shows here and there. And ultimately, at some point, it's like, okay, cool. After hours, we debate with girls, we talk about stuff. And then it's like, on to the next. But here and today, we're going to talk about different things because I think for us as a, as a show itself, we need to evolve. And look, the more we do on the podcast for you guys, the better. And I think the more that we diverse into different topics and different avenues, the more fun you guys will have in the long run anyway. So... Yeah. So, and you guys know we've dealt with a lot of hurdles, man. Whether it's you know thirty, and well, at this point now, I've identified like fifty to sixty different YouTube channels that talk shit about us, getting demonetized. Our Instagrams went down. We found out, by the way, that our Instagrams weren't taken down because of anything we actually did, guys. It was hacked. Yeah, it was. It was a matter. Yeah, it was. Uh, we know exactly who's responsible, and they paid about forty thousand dollars to get our accounts taken down. So we know that for a fact now that it was a targeted attack to get our Instagrams taken down. Ours. But don't Everybody. worry, we'll get it back. Yeah, we'll get it back. But you, but now we know what what it is, and just and guys, this is what comes 
with it, right? Like, obviously, when you're leading in a certain genre and people know who you are and you're trending all over the place and people, you know, and, and you're bigger than others, people get jealous and they fucking try to really take you down in every way possible, man. Like that with death threats, I want to say attacks, cyber attacks, extortion, all that in between. And ultimately, man, we're still here today. So we can handle it, man. Yeah, we've been through a lot. Crazy shit, man. Uh, people trying to put fake cases on us with chicks and all that, dude. Pregnancy like, scares, all that stuff. We've been through a lot, man. Yeah, man. Hold so, up. Yeah, yeah. Girls lying on our names, uh, girls, uh, people, people paying chicks to try to get get us set up. Yeah. Like, bro, it is wild. The stuff. If I told you guys a lot, a lot of the things that happen behind the scenes, obviously, obviously I haven't said mentioned everything, but it is crazy the stuff that people do to try to get us put in a weird situation so they can go ahead and like you know take us out so that they can do their shitty podcast or whatever the fuck that no one cares about. But this is what it, this is what it is, man. Um, and it is unfortunate, it sucks, and it's annoying now that we know that we weren't taken down on Instagram because we actually violated any terms of service, which we thought was weird because they took us down for a dangerous organization. I'm like, in my head, like, well, that's not true because we're not I mean, over what? here doing anything to anybody. I mean, I would have heard to fly, bro. Yeah, like, that's heard weird. So now we know that 100% we were targeted. We know who the there is, the piece of shit that was involved in it, and we know um, why and how they were paid and shit. But um, but it just sucks. It's really annoying because now now you know, it's like people literally have crosshairs on Fresh and Fit to try to take us out, man. And we've you guys know like, you know we're new to this. We can't. I come from a law enforcement background. He comes from a um, from a tech background, and uh, you know you come into the social media game and you're like you blow up quickly and then like you don't really learn all the things that you're supposed to learn from the beginning. Which I'm glad we learned now, right? And it sucks, but it's all made us stronger. But, you know, it is frustrating at times, right? We are human. It's frustrating at times to just have everyone coming at your neck. Like, for no reason, really. Because we don't even know a lot of these guys. And we never did anything to these motherfuckers. I just realized. So it's like, what the hell? It's content. They see us coming up. They see what's going on, the hype yeah. around it. And they say, oh, talk about them. I'll get views. If you look at our haters, paid. their most viewed videos are always videos about us. I wonder All of why. our haters. I wonder it's why. always videos about us. So... And you guys know, we barely respond to haters. We barely respond. And if we do, we get fucking always like flagged and the video taken down and all this other shit strikes. So it's like, <laughs> bro, it's like, I guess when we hit back, it's too hard. They got to get their people to, to mass report us, right? Yo. It's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but but yeah. regardless, though, we've been through the storm and we're still here. We're just making some changes now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So, um, so anyway. Guys, so I, I got a whole list of notes here that I took um, before so I can keep this nice and smooth. So um, as you guys know, we are uh, we do Money Mondays, right? We're going to stay doing Money Mondays because I think that's an, a very important part of what we do. Help you guys make money, help you guys become successful, bring in people that are entrepreneurs and good at a certain field that we might not necessarily be too aware of so we can continue to help you guys make money, become successful. Um, every time you guys send me a story or a message or whatever, hey, I, you know, one guy even called in and said that he became a millionaire because of us. And I'm like, holy shit, we got to yep. keep this going. And I know Money Mondays aren't the most viewed. It's probably one of the least viewed stuff that we do. Um, but it's but that's important. fine. But it's the most important, I would Very, say. Yeah. And it gives some of the most value. I mean, hell, we did an episode with uh, with Jay on Monday about how to get into trucking and how to be go from getting your CDL all the way up to making 100K and then even starting your own uh, owner operator. operator business, Yep. right? And we're gonna do another episode on running the owner operator side because that's a whole other thing. And we gave you all guys like two hours of that, man. And then we actually did a Zoom call after and answered questions. So like stuff like that is where like the real value comes in and where people's lives get changed. As a young man, sometimes we wanna find purpose, right? We don't know what that is. It could be, for example, you wanna be successful in life, but you don't know how. Money Mondays, man. Watch about real estate, investing, crypto, credit. Learn about trade, like with Red Pill Thor or trucking with Big Things of Guan. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. There's answers that, you know, you can get answers to your questions. And ultimately, just watch the shows and listen to what they're saying and say, you know what? This suits me. I'll give it a try. That's it. You give it a try. It works for you. All the better. Yeah. Um, and then on, uh, so we do Money Mondays. And then uh, what we're going to do, we used to do after hours, right? Guys. <laughs> we're, we're scrapping after hours for Monday nights, okay? Uh, to be honest with y'all, it's been redundant. Let's right? go! It's been fucking redundant. Talking to girls every Monday Yo, night, Marco, and Marco. they say the same shit over and over, and, you know, it is what it is, man. Yeah. I'm looking at it like, dude, let's switch it up. Let's get you guys some better content. So what we're going to do instead on Monday nights, 10 p.m., is we're going to be covering the news. We're Trend going to be covering trending topics. We're going to give you guys, like... Keep, basically, we're going to give you guys our base fucking takes on what the fuck is going on in the world. Because at the end of the day, bro, like, you guys want to hear what the fuck is really going on. You guys are tired of these 
stupid, boring ass talk shows that, you know, say the same dumb shit or too scared to say the real shit of what the fuck is going on. PC. So we're going to go ahead and give you guys the real base fucking take.